Hello, this is Gary Simon with the Design Letter and DesignCourse.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at one tool and one tool only, and that is the Pen Tool. And let's go ahead and just get started right now. Go to File, New, and I have it set at 800 by 500. You can use the same if you want. Otherwise, if you have a bigger desktop resolution than me, because I'm doing it small just so you guys can see most of everything, uh, you can just set that at a higher pixel count. So. Um, it's setting me at 66.7%. If that is doing the same for you, just take the magnifying glass tool, click once, and that brings us to 100. You may have to click twice, though, depending on what your resolution is. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's uh, click on our foreground color and change it to black. Hit OK. And with the pen tool selected, make sure up here it says Shape Layers, um, which is selected. The other one's Paths. Okay, so with shape layer selected, let's uh, just real quickly overview how the pen tool works. We can create lines like this just by left clicking, and you can see it begins to fill in whatever we want to do. Very easy. Uh, so let's go back and Control Z, then Control Alt Z a bunch of times to go back to the beginning. All right, so we can create straight lines very easily. Uh, if we want to create curved lines, we can do that with tangents. And the way you do that, let's just click right here, drag this time, and do not click and let go. So if we drag out, we can see it really, we can create any type of curve we want. And then you can see um, this line right here will affect wherever we put the next point. Now we can go back and actually edit these as well by holding Alt and then just clicking them and as you can see we can really change it in any direction that we wish so that's how for the most part the pen tool works so I'm gonna get straight into uh, creating a really cool looking tattoo um, and we'll see that we can get it done very quickly uh, so let's get started go ahead and just try to follow along as best as you can so let's click right here then hold shift and click right here that creates a perfect line that forces a perfect line we can also do that for vertical and 45 degree angles now while still I'm uh, holding the mouse button we're gonna drag up and then come right around here we want the same distance apart and then hold shift and there we go we just click once now let's click right here and drag out and then Fix, finish it there. Now, as you can see, it's kind of overlapping. It went too far, that tangent that was affected there. Uh, so, the way we can fix lines after we've already closed the shape, let's click right here to get rid of that uh, the uh, path from showing. Now, let's click right here. We have two different uh, tools. If you drag out and click, we have direct selection tool. Well, if we click right here, we can see these tangents. So, just click and hold. and now we brought it in so that it doesn't uh, overlap anymore so let's take our move tool let's right click over here in the shape hit duplicate layer hit OK we're gonna move it up right click duplicate again because we're gonna create a third one get rid of the paths and let's move it up now if you need more fine control just use your arrow keys and that uh, will fix it Okay, so now we have this cool looking design here. Uh, what else can we add? Well, really, that's a part of uh, creativity. You can add anything you want, but right now I'm just doing this to show you what the pen tool can do. So let's click right here with the pen tool and then right around here and then create like, a, like an arc over these three designs that we created. Now hold the ALT key and click right on the last anchor point. That will get rid of any tangent affecting the next point. So let's go back to the first point and close it up and drag. And there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate th that by right clicking, duplicate layer, hit OK. Now let's take the bottom one, the very first one, and change it to white. Then you just do you just double click there and then change the color. Now let's go to the move tool and use our arrow keys. Hit down and left a few times. Creates like a little shadow there. Now let's take these two layers and you can select them by holding control right click duplicate layers hit OK control T hold shift and drag out to create like a bigger one right here 
just above it. Select the Move tool, hit Apply. Now we're going to select the original two, these ones right here, and do the same exact thing. We're going to duplicate it again. Duplicate layer, hit OK. Now let's move them above. Now all three of them are kind of low. There's, um, I want to readjust them a little bit. So select the top layer, hold Shift, and then select the bottom layer for these three that we created, and just move them up. All right, so so far we have a pretty cool looking uh, design, but we can add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to zoom in right around here with the magnifying glass tool and just drag out, go back to our pen tool, click right around here and then right around here and drag, hold the alt key, then select the anchor point once and then come back to the original point and drag out and create something like that. Now let's go back over here and do the same thing. Pen tool, select here, hold here, drag out, hold the alt key, click the anchor point, come back to the original, drag out, end it right there. Right click, actual pixels, and there we go. If you want to move it more, just select the move tool, use your arrow key. Alright, uh, let's do one more other, one thing over here, just for the fun of it. Um, let's change the color up here to white, and let's select right around here. Drag out right here in the middle of this part. Try to make it follow the, 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 the same path. And then just click right here. All right. And then do the same thing. Let's move this over to the bottom one, which is the opposite area. Alt click. Bring it back. Drag. And there we go. Right click, actual pixels. And there we go. We have a really cool looking. Uh, design here and the the possibilities are obviously endless with this um, real quickly to show you something else say for example you wanted to do your signature well this is where this tool would come in which is the path tool let's create a new layer new layer hit OK and let's make sure we have black selected for a foreground now the difference with this tool is that you see it doesn't really fill in anything. It's just the path alone. Nothing gets filled in. It's very important to remember that. Um, let me go back here. Now let me do, let's just try to do our signature. This is a real good way to get familiar with the pen tool. My name is Gary, so I'm just gonna do Gary real quick. There we go. Now, if I right click, go to stroke path, use the brush, hit OK, right click and then delete the path, guess what? We have our uh, signature. So that's how the path tool kind of works. And you can do other things with the path tool as well, which I will get into in future tutorials. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. And there we go. Uh, this is our tattoo. Uh, like I said, possibilities are endless, and uh, that is it. Go ahead and check out designcourse.com. You'll see a promo video at the end of this. And if you think this tutorial is cool, you'll see some really awesome tutorials that will show you full website design and logo design. All right, talk to you later.